afternoon as a helicopter flies overhead here at Lillishaw. Welcome to our coverage of this ESFA under 14 PlayStation Cup Schools final for girls. It's the Hodgson Academy against the Shenfield High School. Welcome along, good afternoon to you wherever you're joining us from today. My name is Jonathan Ballard, I will be your commentator for today's game and it should be a great clash Hodgson Academy in their first final and the first time they've entered the competition against Shenfield High School who won the under 13 title last year so a great game in prospect and while we await the kickoff which should be in five or so minutes time I will give you the two teams I'm going to start with the Hodgson Academy and they line up as follows Maddie Marsh in goal Katie Willis Eliza Casey Boyle Ashara Bailey Charlotte Furbank Bella Hill Sophie Horsfall Libby Durkin Beth Strutton Emma Siddle and Madison Sleep Moreno they are coached by Jasmine Sanderson and that is the Hodgson Academy Their opponents this afternoon are the Shenfield High School from Essex and they line up with Abby Harding in goal and Natalie Barber, Amy Windes, Fran Oakley, Maisie Lewis, Abby Brown, Layla Kenley, Jess Stagg, Mia Robbins, Ellie Moore and Elise Jennings. They are coached by Gary Sapsford. Take a quick look at the replacements on the bench this afternoon. Just two subs for the Hodgson Academy, Emilia Parker and Connie Drake. Three for Shenfield, Amy Sweeney, Ruby Austin and Abby Holt. Can't have the game without officials. And these are our officials for this afternoon's game. Roger Andrew is our referee with Ian McGuinness and Tom Wilson assisting him and Paul Wilcox will be the fourth official as you can see they are almost ready to go Hodgson Academy in the blue and white strip on the left hand side Shenfield in the black and yellow strip on the right referees heading to the centre circle for the coin toss. So let's have a look at how both teams got here. Hodgson had a bye in the first round. An 11-0 victory over Omskirt School. 10-3 over Woodhay High School. And 14-1 over Crystalton High School. 3-2 against St Benedict's Roman Catholic School. Another 3-2 victory against Formby High, Form High School. And then the 6-0 win in the quarter-final against St. Joseph Roman Catholic Academy. Their opposition withdrew in the semi-final, which saw them make the final. They scored 47 goals, conceded eight with two clean sheets, and their first time in the competition. So an excellent showing from Hodgson Academy from Blackpool to get to this final. 
for Shenfield, defending champions, of course. They went 8 0 in the first round against James Allen's Girls' School, 6 0 against Oaks Park High School, then 1 0 against Alexandra Park High School, 11 0 against Heister Grammar School, 1 0 against Sir William Borlis Grammar. 3-0 against Neil Wade Academy, 6-0 in the quarterfinal against Kingsdale Foundation School, and then 5-1 against Gordano School in the semi-final. 41 goals scored, just one conceded and seven clean sheets. And they won the under-13 crown last year. We are underway in this final. Barber who puts it out of play. It could be a throw for Hodgson. Down the line it comes. Once again, it's out of play for a throw. Played square, it's going to be cut out. chance for Shenfield to bring it away. Moore goes right hand side. Kenley chases. Looks to get the cross in. Just fires it against the defender. Gets a second opportunity. And we'll get the third as well. He's cleared away well. Halfway. Picked up once again though by Shenfield. Played on by Windass. Chase for Jennings. Jennings Shows great strength. Jennings' first chance, and it's in the net. What a start for Shenfield. Superb goal. Let's have a look at the replay. Jennings going past Katie Willis and putting it across Maddie Marsh into the corner. And 1 0 Shenfield lead very, very early in this one. Hodgson looking to get back on terms as quickly as possible. They'll get the throw in. Long shot coming in into the grateful arms of Abby Harding. for Jennings to chase again. Bailey takes no chances and puts it out of play. Jennings already showing how dangerous she can be with that opening goal. Jennings will take the throw. seen an infringement so it'll be a free kick to Hodgson just outside their own area I think went out of play yet Jennings just failing to keep it in so it'll be a throw to the Hodgson Academy. Yeah, that went out. It's just not over the line. So Jennings will have the throw for Shenfield. Can't find his target. She tries to win it back, but it's unclear. Just managing to keep hold of the ball at the moment. Now a chance for Hodgson. Jennings again, she's seen a lot of the ball. It's opening four minutes and 20 seconds. Girls, 
Who's right, Quan? He's in looking for Jennings, doesn't find its target. Barber tries again into space. It's a chase on for Mia Robbins. Robbins might win this battle. Just goes out of play. Both sides appealing. And it's going to be a corner for Shemfield. Anymore will take it. Shouts for a short corner, but Hodgson defence just making sure that that wasn't going to be an option for them. This will come into the box. Headed high. Now out of the box is two balls on the pitch. Dealt with well, and now a chance for Hodgson to break. And nobody there, though. Barber. Will look to clear, she'll have to do it again. She's going to be put under great pressure by Mourinho. And that's going to be a free kick to Hodgson, so a chance for a delivery into the box from that position. Two 35 minute halves in this game if the scores are level. After 70 minutes, there will be a penalty shootout to decide the winner. That is a long way away. Delivered in, going for goal, and once again into the arms of Abby Harding. Long. More against Strutton. He'll just plays a square ball. Siddle. Hill. Didn't quite find its target. Still with Hodgson though. Put long. That should be easy enough for Maddie Marsh. Willis. Bailey puts it long. It's cut out though. Hill. Now a chance. Oh, that was a really good chance. It was great play by Mourinho. She used her speed to get onto the ball. Maybe another chance again as Mourinho bears down on Natalie Barber. She has to put it out of play. Good pressure from Hodgson as they look to get back on level terms. Let's play down the wing, looking for the cross. It will go for a throw. Good block by Fran Oakley. <laughs> to the byline, chance of a cross coming in. Oh, she just couldn't control it. And that will be a goal kick. Let's have a look at this Mourinho chance again. You see, she comes through, uses a speed. Good save, though, by Abby Harding. I don't think Mourinho just quite got hold of it as much as she would have wanted to. But Harding did really well. Water bottles just being cleared off the pitch. Puts it in, and now there might be a chance. Siddle just looking for the opening. Siddle. Ah. Ah. 
Hello and welcome back to Lillishall National Sports Centre. We are just about ready for kickoff in this fixture. We have had a five minute delay to the kickoff, so let's have a look at the teams. We'll start with Leaf Studio School, the team that lines up as the home side in this one. So, starting in goal number one, it's Harrison Guscott, Billy Bradley, Henry Webb, Harvey Doe. Archie Ricketts in the number five. Number six is Andre Demira. Number 17, Lennon Clayden. Number eight, Aaron Matthews. Number nine, Dylan Walker. Number 10, Remy Coddington. Number 11, Tazaya Moss. And the side is coached by Oliver Davis. And then if we move on to their opposition today, the defending champions at this age group, Brookhouse College. In goal number one, Matthew Hammond. Number two, Jack Brewer. Number three, Aaron Nuttall. Number four, Kaneo Megwa. Number five, Temateo Ureku. Number six, Adam Asman. Number seven, Admir Marati. Number eight is Yaskeldi Risa. Number nine, Denish Hill. Number 10, and top scorer for this side. Victor Eno and completing the lineup number 11 David and Yanwu and the side is coached by Niall O'Grady substitutes for the two sides Leaf Studio School have three options on the bench today number 13 Hayden Brown Tommy Cameron and Abdallah Salhi and for Brooke Housewell slightly stronger bench for them a couple more options they have Mohamed Nije Pascal Kidera Kofi Gonsalves Yasan Sekov and Noah Burnside and the officials that you can see getting ready to get this one going the referee David White he's assisted by Mark Hubbard and Nathan Bartram and the fourth official will be Peter Wilson I'll be your commentator for this fixture, Kieran Curtis. Thank you very much for joining us for this one. The little teams are just going through their final preparations before we get this one underway. It's been a strange old year coming into this final. They've had to wait a long time for it, but not an orthodox route to the final for either side by any means whatsoever. We've had a couple of withdrawals from opposing sides and a couple of buys both sides make it into the final without actually kicking a ball in the semi-final both Leaf Studio School and Brookhouse had opposition withdraw from that so that's Leaf Studio School you can see wearing the predominantly white shirt a little bit of pink trim on those and Brookhouse will be wearing the navy shirts And so, coming into this one, as I said, they haven't had too many games. Brookhouse have actually only played on three occasions. Hasn't stopped them finding the back of the net, though. 
in their first round of competition, which was actually round number three. Well, they put Queen Elizabeth's Grammar School Horncastle to the sword, scoring 22 goals in that one and keeping a clean sheet. Following that, though, they managed to force away past and got a couple of closer victories, 4-1 and 3-0. Well, for Leaf Studio School, well, they have scored plenty themselves. They started with 12 goals against Swanage in their opener, and then things got a little bit tighter. And perhaps an element of psychology playing into this one. They've already faced a penalty shootout and come out on the other side victorious. That will... Well, it should certainly mean that they have no fear going into the latter stages of this game. However... They will, of course, have to keep out the likes of Victor Eno, who was in red-hot form with eight goals en route to this final. As we mentioned, slight delay to kick off here, but... We are pretty much ready to go in this one. Looks like Leaf Studio School, they'll be playing from right to left, as you see it on your screen at present. And Brookhouse playing out from left to right. That is, of course, subject to the coin toss being completed. What I will say is we've certainly got a nicer day for it. Been a bit of a mixed bag at Lillishaw throughout the competition so far. Yeah, the two skippers about to complete those three match formalities. And with that completed, it is going to be as you were in teams of the sides of the pitch they start from. Closing for one last pre-match photo. Remember the occasion, not that you could ever forget this occasion in 2020. is Leaf Studio School who are going to get us underway here. And away we go in this one. Oh, false start. Um, second bite of the cherry. So, leave Studio School immediately. Going long on the attack and off the head, I'm afraid. That's not a number we've got on the team sheet. We'll have to try and work that one out, but that's to Sire Moss. Spinning away and looking to find a bit of space for his side down this near side of the pitch. It's well battled. Apologies, it was David and Yanwu. He set that attack in motion. Here he is again. A little bit of a stumble. He yeah, had slick surfaces. And first opportunity of the game is going to fall to Victor Eno. And it's well taken away from him. On the edge of the box, though, with Denise Hill. And he's challenged. He's brought down. And we have got a penalty very early on here. Come on. 
I'm going to have to look at that one later on. Let's see who's going to step up to take the responsibility early doors here. And it's going to be the top scorer, Victor Eno. Is it? Early rush of blood to the head. He's got a fantastic opportunity to open the scoring here. And it's through the keeper's hands, makes no mistake. And so we have our first goal of the day. And it is in favour of Brookhouse College. They've got a message for someone there. We didn't quite catch that. Quite a light background. Sorry, lads. We'll have another look later on. No, Leaf Studio School. They're going to have to recover and recuperate early. They went with passes like that. Wayward, a little bit sloppy. That's a bit of nerves from this sense of occasion. We've got plenty of time in this one. Certainly not alarm bells by any stretch of the imagination. Then all the way back to the keeper. They go. He'll go long, wide right. It's a lovely trap under the foot that followed up with a very neat tackle. Good 50 50 ball, one out by Teresa. And an important foot on the ball from Billy Bradley. It's just enough. The space looked all there for Marathi. Intent to settle for the throw in. You go along and headed away by the skipper, Asman. Brookhouse, they look in fine fettle at the moment. Pretty much all one way traffic. No clear cut opportunities other than that very early penalty in this one. And off the far side. Studio School have an opportunity to build some pressure of their own. Running out of options there. No one available for Henry Webb. He does get a throw in though. Making short. Demira, Demira. Looks up, looks for options. Goes low and that's potentially to no one. And then he loses out again and Victor Eno. Tackle comes in and we've had a flag for the offside. And he's sitting right on the heels of the defenders. He's certainly not going to give them an easy day of it. Harvey Doe goes long. We have it on the edge of the penalty area, but they're going to be forced backwards. No, they're not. There's a good turn from Tazaya Moss. He just skips away from the challenge. Lovely touch, and he'll earn himself a corner. First of the day here. Cross comes in and comfortably held by Matthew Hammond. Oh, 
Not so many teams these days. They're happy to play it out from the back. Got to be very confident to do so. In fact, a lot of pressure on, but your opposition are sitting slightly deep. It's certainly a viable option. Ball in the hands of Jack Brewer. Down the line. That's cut out. It has been slightly scrappy in these opening few minutes. As I mentioned, nothing but the penalty really separating the sides. Plenty of turnover of possession in the middle of the park. Leaf will really want to start taking control of it on the ground a little bit more. The longer route hasn't worked for him, and there's the pressure from Eno again. And the flag has gone up. It's a second offside against him. So he is going to be right up there and pushing it all day. That is stall out nice and early. But there's been good order from these Leaf Studio School players. They managed to hold that line well and nullify that threat. They haven't been able to do is keep hold of the ball and they can't there either. Terrier like defending from Aaron Matthews, but it's not enough. And then very good challenge from the skipper Harvey Doe. And off ahead, and Leaf will get the ball up to the halfway line for the throw. To go short. Dylan Walker came very deep for that ball, but he's just marshalled further and further backwards. Has to go all the way to his keeper. And lovely ball down the middle. And that's good goalkeeping. A bit of a tussle between Tazai and Moss. An opposition defender. Play continues though. Neat triangle passing from Brookhouse. They've certainly come into this one looking nice and composed. Good spin, the ball breaking and dealt with by Asman. Last year, Leaf made it to the semi finals at under 15 level. That is this group of players. They've already gone one better this season. Can they take that trophy home back down south? We're going to have to overcome the odds here. We approach the 10 minute mark. It's still Leaf Studio School nil. Brookhouse College 1. Let's see of the early penalty. And we'll have a chance to swing one into the box here. Andre Demira standing over the ball. And he's left it. He's getting instruction from the sideline then to swing it in, but they're going to use him as an aerial option instead. Get towards the back post. And it does find a Leaf Studio School head, but he's behind. I have a goal kick. And goes short. The recu. 
Now break in with the ball, Remy Coddington. And, and the shot comes in from Desire Moss. Parried away. It was a good firm set of hands behind that one. And a lashed cross. Bit of a have it ball certainly does the job. And Rookhouse break on the far side in the form of Hill. He rides one challenge. No get to cross him and and they're not happy with that call, but certainly did get his foot to the ball there. The referee very close and on top of the situation, no doubts in his mind. Brookhouse have an opportunity to swing a corner in of their own now. Neither side really looking firmly in control of this one. Header comes in towards the back post but wide. They are nice and calm on the ball. Zion Moss just getting an arm right in there. Surprised that one. Not past the officials, but play continues. Leaf have it. No sooner have I said that, then they lose out. Hill. Loose pass intercepted by Matthews. Dylan Walker just rodding the ball to a teammate there. Looked to have lost it, did well to recover. And then that's a, that's a forwards challenge, shall we say. And as the ball broke, it was David and Yan Wu who just rode through the back of him. Andre Demira this time to take it. There's one in, flicked over to the back post and no one there, can they collect it? Lashed across the face of goal and good job from Matthew Hammond, takes no chances, slipped out of his palms but pushed it around the post to divert the danger. Just since Leaf Studio School that building in confidence now, corner comes in, headed away, only as far as Moss on the edge of the box. Eventually cleared. Now on the far side. Webb with the ball. Matthews did not connect with that one. It was a bit of a hit and hope attempt at the ball. A bit of a tennis game in the middle of the park. Oh, lovely touch. From Anyanwu. Releases Victor Eno, and that's a really solid push into the back, but 50-50, the referee's gone in the defender's favour. Maybe forgiven at times for forgetting that football's a contact sport. Harvey Doe certainly likes playing with a bit of physicality. Brookhouse into the area now. And Yanwa and he scuffs it wide. And it's been given as corner. A slight deflection on it, clearly. We have a little look back on that shot. Oh, very close call, but on the keeper's face, he certainly seems bemused by that one. Oh, 
Deep cross. Headed at the back post, then into the back of the net. Brookhouse, have a second. And Yanyamu is claiming it. And a little look back at that one. Oh, I don't know. I think that may just well have come off. Archie Ricketts back. You know what forwards are like. They want to claim absolutely everything. See how it goes down in the record books. Hill. Webb smuggles the ball. The mirror. The mirror goes long. And ball given. Just as they did following the opening goal of the game. Leaf <laughs> Studio School immediately back on the counter. They're in opposition territory. They've had precious little in terms of meaningful opportunities. And they go low. Doesn't pay off. Bradley goes wide. And that will be a free kick. That was it. Left one on the ankles there. Boot of Demira into the near post. No one there for Leaf Studio School. Hammond clutches it close to his chest. And they have been all day. Brookhouse playing the ball dangerously on their own edge of the area and almost punished there. Dylan Walker came across to make the challenge. Asman winds one up. And following the challenge, Leaf get the ball back for a throw in. They can quickly. Matthews. That's a good option going backwards. Bradley. Which is the angle of attack? A web. A bit of style from Remy Coddington there. He's certainly a confident player. Played to his favour in his footballing career. Taken on by West Ham on an academy scholarship. Asman. The Hill. And they do go long. Face down the right hand side. Ball played to the centre and Webb comes across and then loose ball from him. And Yanwu, which is it? The Nuttall, Nuttall across the face of goal and into the back of the net. That's one that will disappoint the keeper. What do we speak about? Where do we play? Where do we try to play when you play? And Yanwu saw the space. Aaron Nuttall, Aaron Nuttall, left footed. Just sends it across the face of goal, and the goalkeeper will be disappointed with that one. Rook House firmly in control midway through this opening period. 20 minutes gone, Rook House 3, Leaf Studio School 0. The mirror, what a wonderful left boot he has got. He's been pulling the strings for Leaf from the centre of the park today. Got a free kick on the edge of the box. I certainly want to make count. Not all. Just trying to send them back a yard, but it may not be to their favour to send them back a yard. 
want to get the ball up and down. Demira and Webb stand over it. Demira takes it. Shot comes in into the back of the net. Sumptuous free kick. We were just praising his left boot moments ago. And that is exactly what it can do. It's a blind free kick. Evades everyone. And they have picked themselves up nice and quickly. Asman goes long. Nobody there out the far side. Another throw in. Mira. Matthews loses the ball, but gathers it at the second attempt. Nothing doing, though. Forward by Doe. Back to nutritional battle in the middle of the park. Nice touch from and Yamwe drops the shoulder, gets the cross in, and good goalkeeping. Sprayed out wide right. Leaf picking the pace up now. And that is a bit of a naughty challenge. That was late. Remy Coddington. He certainly knows about the presence of Aaron Nuttall today. for Matthews get past two Rockhouse players can't do so and again Remy Coddington just gesticulating to the referee that he's been shoved off the ball was more shoulder than anything else on that occasion Risa to Eno, Eno, the hill, back to Eno and then loss of control, offers the ball up on a plate, lump forward by Leaf and just bring things back under control, then of calm, the Mazman. Good control on the chest by Eno and does really well to bring his foot down then. Wasn't about to let himself give away a cheap bow for a high foot. Reset. Across to the edge of the box. Flip the way. Lovely from Megua on the spin. Hill. That's all back to Hill. He just skips away into the penalty area and then the challenge comes in. The captain across once again. How many times has Harvey Doe been there at the vital moment for Leaf School? it to Demira. He has to go all the way back to his keeper. Bradley. Nice step inside. The kick is given against Brookhouse. Bradley goes short. Matthews, Matthews. Back to the number two. And a lovely little nutmeg, and then important and challenge from Risa. Well done. 
Matthews tries the same tricks, not working on him. Yanwu this time. He has to get the ball back at the halfway point. Brewer's going long, headed into the path of Hill, and Webb just dives across him with a shoulder. Marshals the ball into touch, good defending. So, goes long, nobody there. Bit wasteful. The risk that Leaf have taken with some of these long balls. Brought down by Eno. Not by the pass though. Risa gets to the scraps. Brewer doesn't want to go to his keeper. Looks up. Neat exchange with Risa, and that's it. Comes right across the toes from Dylan Walker and referee. He did exactly that way. Nothing malicious, just a bit ill timed. Nasman. Loose control but gets to it quickly to recover. Magwa. Brewer. Horse backwards. Matthew Hammond. He flick out the back door from Risa. Good pass inside. If they're about Brook House, their attackers certainly aren't afraid to come back and sit deep to offer some options to their defenders in the midfield. Off the head. Never wreck you, and then Asman challenges. Desire Moss, and the free kick is given. Punished once by it. Demir a free kick. One's a lot further out. An extra 10 yards on it. Teammate selling him. You know what to do. Well, he certainly does. He's found the net once to give his team a lifeline this one's going to be floated in quarterback post headed towards goal ricochets and falls to a leaf man but then cleared away just hacked this near side of the field Walker doesn't find the mark. Webb wanted that ahead of him, but loses sight of it. Drifts harmlessly behind him and out for the throw in. Ten minutes to go until the midway point in this one. Brookhouse led the second minute of the game, courtesy of a penalty. And ball given against Nyanwu. And take the deflection off Billy Bradley. Will be a Brookhouse throw. Okay, 
Space opening up, but oh, just couldn't find the touch. Bring that under control, allows Brewer to get across. And shove it in the back, and it is a free kick. Mira and Bradley. They have swung them in with their left foot. The balls from the coach is coming in. Wants a right footer on this one. And that will be Dylan Walker. Cross to the near post and Risa takes no chances. If Matthew Hammond was behind that, but the diminutive midfielder gets his body between the ball and the goal. Good corner, headed away, and then bicycle kick. Get it away again. Scything clearance. He says, Eno on the far side brings it down well. A lovely first touch. And the ball breaks. The battle between Harvey Doe and Denise Hill. Doe wins out. Megwa loses it in the centre of the park. Neat step over from Ereku. Not all. Looking inside and it falls for him on the edge of the box. He breaks in, goes to the back post, into the goal! Victor Inu. That's another one. And that's the score extended. Four goals to one. Let's watch that one back. And not all. Bit fortuitous, but followed it up. Center of the goal. No mistake being made there. Moss back to Demira. Lone goal scorer for Leaf. Matthews. Wide right foot. Webb. Webb goes forward and Demira stepped over the ball, loses sight of it, and that allows Brookhouse to break again. Reset. Play will continue. He's straight back to his feet, to his credit. And Yanwa. Eno. Low shot across the face of goal, and it's harmlessly wide. Ahead of Brewer. A nice scything pass splits the defence, but Nuttall gets to it ahead of his man in Brookhouse getting it away. Matthews. Uses out. Deniche Hill. Matthews trying to get in to recover it. Can't do so. The foul, though, that is not given much to the displeasure of Hill. Dove to Webb. A neat pass wide for Moss. Moss inside onto his left foot. Deflected cross, it won't break because Jack Brewer's underneath it. David and Yamwu. Back to Marati. Long ball forward. 
inside the end of the box. Good goalkeeping. Qualified the threat nice and early. Saw where the run was going. Matthews. Nagwa wins it. Nyamu inside and Victorino just too far away from it. Ball slowed up and is a lush pitch. We haven't had the rain today that we've had at earlier points. It is holding up just a little bit more. Rule goes long. Intercepted. Walker. The Moss. Moss has the option and doesn't find him. There were acres of space there out wide for Dylan Walker. Anywhere outside of him and it would have been his ball. Had like more from Moss went inside and there you just see <coughs> Asman ushering the ball into touch. It did threaten to hold up again. Coming to Brewer. Uh, good challenge from Aaron Matthews. Andre Demira back to Matthews. Demira picked a lovely pass through and then the return ball. Well, straight into touch was never going to trouble Brookhouse there. Che Hill, David and Yanwu, that Barisa. No panic in the number eight, not all. Breaking towards the halfway line, neat one two with Beniche Hill. Combined on a few occasions, and they nearly do so again. But Remy Coddington with the outstretched boot. It away on this occasion, but not for long. Deniche Hill, Hill forward, the Nuttall. And a good challenge sweeping across. Big right boot of Henry Webb. Tall to reset, reset. Challenge by Coddington. Up over the halfway line. Adam Asman happy to watch that one into touch and in no rush to bring it back either. We go backwards. Loose control from Jack Brewer. And the vibes that scare. We'll have to go again. And does get there again. David and Yamwu gips away from Aaron Matthews. His options to his right and his left. Cuts inside and going on his own. Has it on his left boot and the shot. Well, in the end, shot didn't quite live up to the movement. Victorino's telling him he was there for that pass. Why don't you give it me? Oh, you can forgive Brookhouse at this point. Wanting to get in on the scoring act at the moment. Good clearance over the head from Ereku. Asman. Risa. Marathi goes inside to Risa. Gets one forward. Well cut out by Billy Bradley. Not for long. And then a lovely return ball. And Yamu into the box. Harvey Doe gets a foot to it. And Yanyu recovers. Stood up, switches to his left, gets the cross in towards the far post. It's flicked away, Deniche Hill. Well, the goal was begging, but the ball probably sat up a little too high for him. Couldn't get it on target. Into 
added time here. Bit forward, Nature Hill gives up on that one. He immediately offers the apology to his teammate Eno. The earlier parts of this game, it was scrappy, but the scoreline is just ticked over for Brookhouse. Leaf still well in the game. They just haven't been as dangerous in front of goal. Their only effort in the back of the net coming from free kick whipped in at the far post by Andre Demira. Matthews gets to the header and receives the ball back from Coddington, then spins away from one man, won't get past Risa. Nietzsche Hill into the centre of midfield to recover it for Brookhouse. And then we do have the half time whistle. So they've got a 10 minute interval here now. At the break. It is Brookhouse who are out ahead. Four goals to one they lead. Been a couple for Victor Eno. A deflected effort from Aaron Nuttall and well, David and Yam. We he wanted to claim one. I think it may have gone over his head though and off the back of the unfortunate Archie Ricketts. Only goal I believe Studio School came when they were already 3-0 down. And it was tucked away from the left boot of Andre Demira. And what a finish it was too. And we'll be back very shortly for the second half and do keep an eye out on Twitter during the second period because there will be a player of the match vote at, uh, at schools football. You can have your say on who gets nominated so far. And a few standout performances. So we'll be back very shortly.
So, boys from Brookhouse College return to the field. Three goals to the good. They lead at half time, 4 1. And they're on course to defend this title in the ESFA Under 16 Small Schools Cup. Leaf Studio School they'll be playing from left to right in this second half they have it all to do in this second period Perhaps enjoyed a better share of keeping the ball on the ground. Meanwhile, Leaf, they've been forced to go long on a couple of occasions. It's broke for them from time to time, but they've been losing out on the battles in midfield. Wouldn't shock me. 
That is what has been expressed to them at half time by Oliver Davis. You can see him there. Still offering some instruction. They return to the field themselves. No time to lick any wounds. This is Cup Final Football. Just got to get it done, really. And we're almost ready to get underway here in the second period. Referee Mr. Andy Smith just runs through the numbers. A good game so far, Andy Smith was forced into action very early on with a penalty decision against Leafy. Didn't take much time to come to his conclusion. And he has us back underway here. And it's immediately Brooke House who are on the attack. Reset into the penalty area, gets his shot away, and it's high and wide. And an early signal of intent. Brooke House making their intentions absolutely clear. They want more. Long from the goal kick and off the head of Ereku. Nodded down by Megwa. Likes to get in a slightly more advanced role. Webb can't keep it in or find a teammate it's out on the near side. Number three, Aaron Nuttall. Made a nuisance of himself as far as the studio score were concerned in the opening half. A lovely touch again from Victor Eno. He's got a very delicate touch. There have been too many balls that have got away from him. Denitra Hilt cuts out the throw in. The goal scorer, the mirror, is then brought down by Eno, who sets himself away on the edge of the penalty area. Cuts in, lovely pass inside, is intercepted. And Leaf will just about get it away up to the halfway line. Two early chances and two moments of alarm in the Leaf defence. Webb, slide tackle to get it out on the halfway line. Aaron Nuttall, he does like to get into an advanced position. Really does pull the opposition with him and open up the space. That creation of space that Brookhouse have made tell in this game. Aaron Matthews, very loose pass. There wasn't a leaf shirt anywhere near that one. Reset over the halfway, cleared. And Bradley. Asman back to Ereku. Asman goes low and we have just watched that off the toe. Moss can spin on the edge of the penalty area. Taken down, that's close call and he thinks about taking it quickly. Thinks better of it in the end. I think his teammates would have had a word with him if he hadn't found the back of the net there. Especially when Demira and dispatch them so well with that left boot. Another opportunity for him and this time it's high and it's wide. Well it's not wide, it's down the centre of the goal but it's certainly high. Matthew Hammond in no hurry to bring this one back. Studio School won the 2019 Dorset County Cup. They know what it's like to be in finals. 
Scrappy in it away, but no one in an advanced role there for Brookhouse. As we said, they, they do come very deep for the ball. They tend to play it up the other end of the field as opposed to spraying long balls around for teammates to run onto as Risa rides a challenge of two players and then can't get the ball past Demira. Demira goes wide right. Moss chases Asman. It's between man and ball and does really well to keep that in field. Aaron Nuttall away at the halfway point now. Deniche Hill inside. Hill. There's a heavy touch on his left boot and won't get to it again. Although Doe collided with a teammate. Second wave of attack. Hill. Chips one forward, Nuttall. Well, he gives up on the chase very early that time. That is how quick Brookhouse can turn defence into attack. And it all came about because the captain, Adam Asman, kept the ball in play rather than just clearing it for a throw into the opposition. And I suppose when you three goals to the good, that's the... Uh, kind of confidence you gain from that lead into the penalty area Webb shoulder to shoulder with Nuttall Nuttall sent sprawling to the ground no foul certainly a size advantage in favour of Webb there Moss takes it quickly short to Webb and it's back with Moss a break on the edge of the six yard box Matthew Hammond gets to it Brewer he's wide and Yanwu loses out as I Moss chips one forward it's too far away from Jack Brewer but comfortably out of reach of any other attacking players Matthew Hammond takes control. Asman takes it short to Risa. Risa back to his captain and pressure applied from Aaron Matthews as he so often likes to do. Ball breaks wide right. Good challenge from Tyzaia Moss. And then that was a close call. Throw in to Brooke House. It was Henry Webb who just dived in at the feet of Temateo Reku and Adam Asman. Okay, player, thank you. Follow him, follow him, follow him. Asman. That's up, that's up. Out on the near side. Brookhouse will have a throw in just inside their own half and well Adam Asman a couple extra yards and Aaron Matthews can't get through the body of Megwa Billy Bradley stands over the ball. He'll go short to Demira. Demira over the halfway line. Loses out to Nietzsche Hill. And he finds space in acres of space. It's Victor Eno. Victor Eno into the penalty area. Cuts inside onto his right boot. And it takes too long over the decision before dragging a shot wide. The goal was absolutely at his mercy. 
as he broke in. Watch that one back. And yeah, just a moment of indecision, but that's all it took for the defence to get back into position. And the ball out for a Brookhouse corner. On the centre of the field, Marathi gets one forward. Strong challenge. That's Coddington away. Lovely ball for Matthews up to the edge of the box, but he won't get to the ball first because the towering figure of Temateo Reku cuts across him. Ball on the edge of the box. Shot comes in. Dylan Walker, and was that off the back of the arm? of Jack Brewer well these lads needn't worry about VAR or all the confusion of handball it certainly wasn't an unnatural position he just turned his back to the ball Denitra Hill with the nutmeg and that given against him that was a close call distant in no doubt Hill just kicks the ball away not going to let Leaf take this one quickly that's for certain The mirror boxed in the corner, Nuttall and Hill for company. Oh, and a lovely little turn away. And well, it was hacked clear, but took a deflection on the way. Asman winds one up. He won't get past the mirror. He will get a couple of extra yards up the field to take it. Second throw in though. And Asman again going long. It's a very interesting style as he kind of whips it round his head. Given against Deniche Hill. Billy Bradley with the ball in his hands now. He goes with a shorter option into Zaya Moss. Challenge from Asman. They reset. They go with the same option. Asman again just being, brings a long right leg across the body of Tazaya Moss. Oh, the ball breaks on the wide right. Eno goes with the cross and it's off the back. An opposition player and out for a throw in. Brewer just drying the ball off. Just the one, yeah? Thank you. Brookhouse right back made his presence felt and Eno gets the shot away and into the back of the net he's only gone and got another a wonderful finish from Victor Eno certainly has a very strong case for him to be player of the match. Reset. Sending the ball through. The challenge came in and a lovely delicate chip away. Or it broke but Eno to tuck it away in the far corner. Yeah. 
And reset. Locked up and he has support from Megwa. Aaron Matthews wants to get going, get the ball back. Long ball off the head of Brewer then. Chip forward, Asman underneath it this time. And as time ticks away, unless Leaf can stage a dramatic recovery, this game is starting to slip away from them. Hill. Megwa. Can't keep it in. Throw in. The Leaf on the near side of the field. And Leaf are going to ring the changes now. Moving on to the pitch, number 13, Hayden Brown. And number 15, Tommy Cameron. Replacing Remy Coddington. And Frankie Monk. Bradley goes long, looking for Moss. And again! Asman just gets between man and ball. He has been on the back of Tazaya Moss like absolute glue throughout this game. Barely giving him any room to work with whatsoever. Well, stolen away by Eno on halfway, and he'll release a teammate down the near side, Mohamed Nijay. He'll get a cross in towards the far post. It's brought down by Anyamwu. Back to Risa. Risa on the edge of the box, forward for David Anyamwu. And played inside. Denija Hill flashes one to the far post. Anyamwu underneath. Gets the shot away, tipped over the bar. Was it tipped over or was it just too high? Well, the referee has given it in favour of Leaf. Another fantastic opportunity for Brookhouse. And getting so close to retaining their title. Dope. Real composure to go off the outside of the boot there with Eno right behind him. <coughs> Play it short. The mirror. One, two, and. Tommy Cameron's pass is loose. Pounced upon. Risa. Another neat turn. Won't get past the mirror this time, but David Anyamwu is right there. Gets it onto his left foot. Gets the shot away. And Harvey Doe going face to face with Victor Eno 
Uh, the frustration starting to tell in this one. We're nearly three quarters through this game. There's plenty of work for... Oh, when that Badenice Hill stands over this free kick, shaping to cross one towards the far post. And the ball out the back. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Leaf Studio School chasing Brookhouse College in control and on the attack and the cross comes in, it's high up into the air and the goalkeeper underneath it. Harvey Doe, the man who got there. Now they'll knock it around the back. Bow comes in. And it'll be a dangerous position now for Brooke House. And Hill stands over this one again. Can he go a bit more direct this time? Again, he looks like he's shaping to put this on someone's head. It's over Asman off the back of the head of Doe and behind for the corner. Cows cranking up the pressure and they're keeping Leaf Studio School penned in. At this end of the field. Just can't get hold of the ball at the moment, Leaf. He'll go short. Reset on this time. Bluffs his line somewhat. Went for a neat one time pass. Just yes. trickled away off the heel as he stepped over the ball. Brewer with it in hand. He's going to go long. And long indeed. Out on the far side. Leaf have it. They take it quickly. And there's a hand there. Preventing it being taken quickly. Andy Smith not overly concerned with that. Let's play continue. Challenge comes in late. Leaf have the ball now. Midway inside their own half. Right on the far touchline. Demira goes quick. So neat. First time ball releases Bradley. Bradley can't find Bella Sally down the right hand side. He recovers to make the challenge. Gives away the throw to Brooke House. In a story of frustration. <laughs> belief in this game. Nasman. That's too far away from the ball there. Moss can't bring it under control, but Sally will get it away. Jumps the challenge and earns himself a throw in in the process. He made the head of him, can't find them. David and Yamwu. 
that, that DJ bounces up, but well held in the end. I think it was going wide, if we're honest. And don't forget, head over to Twitter to have your say on the player of the match vote here in this ESFA Under-16 Small Schools Cup final. The nominations should be live. A couple of players made a strong case for Brooke House today. Victor Eno right at the top of that list. Whereas Matthew Hammond, well, he had very little to do today in the Brooke House goal. Wide right with Brewer. Up to halfway, Risa. He's been an influential figure in the centre of the park. Long cross towards the back post. Nija can't quite reach it. But he will keep it in. Hill. And then the robust but clumsy challenge from Abdella Sally. Hill has put in a few good balls towards the back post. Over the course of the last 10 minutes, he's going to have another good opportunity to do so again here. And indeed, he steps away from it. It'll be Megwa. Megwa. Into the centre of the six-yard box. Headed away. Only as far as Anyamu on the edge of the box. Squares it to Hill. Hill finds a space for Megwa wide left. Megwa. There's the dummy. And then cross deflected off. The mirror and behind for another corner. <laughs> so less than 15 minutes to go, 14 minutes to be exact. Magua takes this corner short. Brookhouse leading five goals to one on course to retain this trophy. Risa, edge of the box, blocked by Doe. And Yamwu finds a teammate wide right. Inside ball with Kofi Gonsalves. Steps past two players and a heavy touch. Can't keep it in. Yes, he can. It's off the back of Harvey Doe. No, he can't keep it in, in fact. Really close call, that. Sally. Looks up, pressure from Hill. Manages to get it away. Matthews. Hit forward. Good control from Taziah Moss off the shoulder. Steps inside. And he goes with the long range effort. And it's wide. And Noah Fernside has taken over in goal for Brookhouse. Of his first goal kick of the day. Well, Matthew Hammond wasn't put under too much pressure. Noah Fernside will be content if the efforts from Leaf continue in that vein on the halfway line from Brookhouse again and Archie Ricketts violating the rules of the game as he wins that one back for his side free kick given Risa goes quickly he's going to be forced to take it again <laughs> been rather generous with himself with where he took that from Brewer looking for options he'll go short all the way back New Fernside, wide right of Brewer. And this has been one of the really positive parts of Brookhouse's play. They do generally keep the ball on the floor, work the spaces and manipulate their opposition to create the gaps. Shot comes in low, rasping drive and it's blocked away. Nietzsche Hill, neat step over, gets away from Coddington, flashes across goal and Good interception, one-handed by the goalkeeper. Nereku. Right, right. Megwa forward for Risa. Risa on his right foot. 
the low ball intercepted by Sally. Thornton, he did so. And Tazaya Moss finds himself in space. Gets the shot in. The play has been called back. And there's Moss ghosted in behind the defence there. Well, reasoning was because he was actually advanced into an offside position. Areku. The Brewer back to Areku. Areku forward now. With ten minutes to go. I wouldn't expect to see much else from Brookhouse in their own half now. They're just toying with the opposition with these triangular passes as Risa breaks over the halfway line and the ball under an opposition leg and Megwa will get to it. It's already been given. It just strayed beyond the far touch line. And now making his way from the field. The number 10, Victor Eno. He had eight goals coming into today. Well, he's netted himself another three today. And as it stands, he'll have fired Brook House to retaining the ESFA. Under 16, small schools cup. Hacked up into the air by Harvey Doe. Magua lets it bounce, rides a challenge from two players before he breaks away. And again, doesn't dive to the ground as another challenge came in slightly late. Keep it in field as well. Through the legs of one, not through another. Then research jumping straight across his man. Bow given. Webb wanted to take it quickly. Uh, Risa was having a bit of a disagreement with Andy Smith there. Well, I didn't think that was an argument. You were going to win. It was pretty clear as far as free kicks go. There goes short to Demira, goal scorer of Leaf's solitary effort. A wonderful free kick whipped in at the back post. And now Brookhouse break again. Shot comes in into the back into the side netting another hairy moment belief and all the, another close call for Brook House John Salvez wins another and he wins himself a free kick in the process taken quickly David and Yamwu goes inside Asman Low ball for Hill. Hill. Wide left. Hey. Even against them. The voting almost at a close. We get to get them in at Schools Football on Twitter. Vote for your player of the game. Hill. Back to Areku at halfway. He's stood up by one man. We'll go all the way back to Noah Fernside. Fernside. They've been happy to switch the play like this. No need to go long. They'll anchor the ball back to the centre of defence and find the space along the ground. Frankie Monk comes forward and challenge for a Mazman. He's strong. Good conversation there between Jack Brewer.